always talk about two letters, cross tracks, he say he riding on Make it rain, blue hunters, new weather. I can't stand no nigga who talk that shit like he gon' shoot better. If you knew better, you'll do better. Broke my Rolex, we got a new bezel. Matter of fact, I did it two times. Gave me a disco like I had a coupon. We straight forever, two lines, drinking on yellow and purple, two kinds. Ice game cold, free on smoking. I'm in the late like LeBron. Pick a nigga off like Dion, straight from the bottom, the streets where I be gone. Bring this shit back like a rerun. Try to be cool, bitch, I try for a reason. These niggas sweet, Capri Suns. What's going on, mi raza? Jose RPN, Rezo para mis sueños. Heavy still a hot rod today. We're gonna be sending some stuff in the mail out there to the Panda Express. These guys got there, and there was a little bit of a fire, a little bit of a fuck up on the framing. I was really in the approval stages with the, with the prints. They went ahead and approved ours for 41 foot eight. That's what we cut our stuff down to, fabbed it out to 41 foot eight. Pero le faltaban seis pulgadas, siete pulgadas, ahí por ahí, six and three quarters. So, ahorita le vamos a mandar esta, este pedacito. That's about 10 inches or so. I cut them a little bit extra para que tienen de sobra. And we're going to get it into a box and put on FedEx. Overnight it to these guys porque ya lo ocupan allá. They're going to go ahead and put a shear plate inside of the existing tube. And we're going to go ahead and splice it. Do a butt weld on there. Y ya se quedó el pedo. Put the ears on. Attach the thing. A job that should have been one day has now turned into a job for about three, four days waiting around. And now I got to send this in the mail. So... No harm, no foul. Así pasan las cosas. Fierro con fierro no pasa nada. Let's go ahead and go inside. Everybody be cool. This is a robbery. I had to send this. Louisiana. Okay. You gotta get a box over there. You gotta sell boxes here. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got that piece sent off to FedEx. It'll arrive tomorrow at eight in the morning or so. So I already advised the guys out there. Like I said, it was a job that was supposed to be for about a couple hours really. Offloading the truck with the ballers and all the excess steel, little stuff like that for the for the dumpster gates. It took them about 30, 40 minutes and off to take the tube down. When it took them to hang it, they should have had it done in about 40 minutes to an hour. Uh, getting the ears welded out, get the, the, the erection bolts put in there. Should have took up more than half a day. So it's turned into something that we had to be uh, renting the hotels for the weekend. Um, you know, I'm keep the guys out there. The guys are now getting everything prepped for tomorrow. So tomorrow this will get welded up. It'll get installed. And the guys will be making their way back from Louisiana. Now, whenever they set these dumpster bollards, uh, we'll go back. We'll get the actual measurements. We'll fab our dumpster gigs to measurement. I had a meeting with the guys the other day with the superintendent and with the project manager. I'm gonna actually wait to fab those until I get the actual numbers because it never seems to be right with these guys. And it's not no fault of their own, you know, it shit happens in this world, but we're gonna make sure that we get it right. So we're gonna wait till we fab it later on and uh, it should be good, it should be fine. So right now I'm gonna head back to the house, gonna go ahead and I'll offload this trailer. I gotta go get a new starter because one of the bolts from the solenoid actually came out. I'm thinking uh, either when they took out the motor to do some work I don't see why they would have removed the starter but that's the only way I could see that the bolt would have come that loose if not then maybe it's just a faulty bolt and that was getting loose over time and now it's uh it's, it's gone it's not even there anymore it fucking fell off so I gotta make sure that uh, I go and get a starter right now I'm gonna get a couple tail lights as well because I want to have this truck all on my lawn all ready to go that I want to want to make sure that, that she's running perfect so I'm gonna go get that the lights, I'm gonna get the starter and then here in a little while I'll be installing it. I can them. barely get a bite, but I can get it. Let's see. Yeah, it's coming off. So this one is gonna be the one I'm gonna be changing out too because see how it's broken. It's all loose, it's real ugly, so I'll be changing that one out for sure. Let's put it up here for right now so it doesn't go anywhere. I don't like I don't like the way they're sitting right now. It looks fucking chafita. 
I don't like when it sits like that. I want like I want my truck to be a little bit more reliable, and this ain't reliable right here. These things have been a little bit past their prime, so eventually I want this truck to be a hundred percent AC and all, you know. I want this truck to be a bad motherfucker all the way around. So next order of business is gonna chase down these wires. Figure out what the hell they're for. I'm gonna remove this battery right now. And we'll get a little bit closer to find out what they're for. Okay. It's a lot harder to do when you got a nail fucking falling off like that, man. I think every which way wants to peel back. What's that? What's that, brother? This plug is for like when uh, they're up north and it snows and stuff. It heats the block up. Of course, this is not how it comes. Mine has been uh, snipped off and somebody has changed it for a regular. It's like a fan or something or a microwave plug. But that's what it's for, regardless. This thing has these little clips that you just turn. I got this little Tonto knife from Walmart for like seven dollars or something like that. Last time I was over there with me and my daughters, you take that off. This red one right here, right there, these red and black ones that I didn't know what are for, I now know. Those are for. A little 12 volt outlet. Okay, so I have a little aftermarket 12 volt outlet, so that's what that's for. Come on over there. So it's gonna be these. That one would have been for the, I believe this one would have been for the camera, a backup camera, the one that they stole. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Okay, so I got the little kill switch out. Right, there you go. Oh, now I gotta get that 516 to bit. Okay, I'll get that 516 right now. That's this stuff. This is all for my backup camera. I ended up getting a new backup camera, it'll come with all of this again. I don't know if you can see the starter from there. Yeah, you can see it right there. That's the starter. Right there. Where's that? Right there. Right there. Right there. I can get you all over here. Let's see. See that solenoid? Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube, man. That's no good. So, like I said, I don't know if one of these bolts fell out or what, but this is always is fucked. And I can't keep driving like that. I go across Texas too much. If it was easy, everybody would do it right. started guys right, let's, go. let's go get cleaned up because I'm dirty as fuck so we get a little cleaned up and uh I'll jump into the Mustang and we'll get this started well, it rained. I went and got the starter. It rained like all oh, hell. I got drenched, man. My phone got drenched. I lost a whole bunch of footage of me actually installing the starter. Let me get down here real quick so I can at least show y'all, though. It's still drenched out here right now, but at least I'll get over here and I can show y'all. Oh, that's the new starter inside there. There it is. I was out here in the rain ah, I wasn't actually I was actually dry when I was underneath here 
it wasn't until I got out um, that I got drenched. But I got all the tools put up in here and I gotta get everything back out and uh, finish this stuff up because I gotta have this truck running by tomorrow morning. So we're gonna finish up here right now. One thing for sure, two for certain, I gotta hurry up. The sun's gonna go down here pretty soon. So I gotta try and get this stuff done pretty quickly, man. That's the old one. And this is gonna be the new one that we're using commercial grade. So I just needed something more. Those things worked when I had them for the while that I had. I tell you, man, I'm pulling this nail up every which way I can. It's pulling this nail up. But that's what I was looking for. They're nice and tight right now. A little bit more cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over and do that side. Auto zone and finding whatever I can find, you know? But uh, so, if anybody knows of any other ones that I could use that are gonna be of any any more beneficial than the ones I'm, using, I'm currently using, please let me know. I'm all about trying new things and seeing if anything else works. I'm gonna give this a little whack. Back scratcher. This is a good little wacky whack right there. So got it cleaned up a little bit from earlier. I don't know if y'all can tell. I can tell though. I don't know if it's just me, but something about this starter doesn't feel just right. Maybe it needs a little bit of time to kick in, or maybe it's that terminal not being uh, right. It's not tight enough, but uh, it just feels a little weird. It feels a little iffy, but either way, it's starting. It's doing what it needs to do. The lights are working. Now I just need to make sure the alternator isn't, um, isn't going to fuck up on me. That it's going to recycle the energy, the power, so... I'm gonna let this turn on. I'm gonna actually move it over there to the front because I gotta have it uh, mobile tomorrow morning, like at three, four in the morning. And I'm gonna head inside. Try to get these pools cleaned up right here. with this little work table of mine. Uh, but we got the starter changed out. We got that piece of steel sent out to Louisiana. I'm gonna be headed out into Corpus tomorrow and to Driscoll to get the sheet metal measurements in Driscoll and to see what's up with that leaking roof out there at Bates. Um, Y'all have a blessed one. Puro pa adelante, puro bendiciones. So say RPMs, that's para mis sueños. Have you a hot rods? Today, we're working on the Mamalona F357.3. Tomorrow, I'll be on the road back with the heavy steel. I'll catch y'all later. Uh, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Like I said last night, when I was doing the starter and putting all the batteries back together in the truck, see the truck's on right now. I gotta make my way out there to Corpus Christi, Texas and to Driscoll, Texas today. Today, the guys in Louisiana out there in Shreveport will be receiving that piece of steel that I sent off as well. So. Let's go ahead and get the day started. I gotta go do some stuff out there in Corpus. Gotta make about 300, 400 miles drive today, back and forth. And the guys gotta finish off that job in Louisiana. Let's get going. All right, we had to stretch the legs a little bit. Wash my hands and my face, man. I'm tired, had a long day last night. I didn't go to sleep till maybe midnight or something. I woke up at 4.30 today, so. See how they come Where? From right there? I think those are just like droplets. Where is that? Where is that CNC machine gonna be? Somewhere here, no? Right here? Yeah. That oh, that? that's that spot. That's that spot, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, just running that way. Oh, goddamn. They're working in here already. Hey, hey Oscar. I'm gonna show them this leak out the back corner. Okay, yes sir. Thank you. What are they So it's a different stuff here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So HVAC. Oh, that's what it's for HVAC. Okay. Yeah.
I see that little torch tank. Oh, Air handlers and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they filled this yeah, place they up. They moved nice. it quick, huh? I was about to say, they filled this place up nice. Yeah, yeah. You see the bubble? Yeah. Oh, this one's too crazy. Yeah, but this one oh. right here. Yeah, but it's that same damn one, though. It's yeah, it's notorious, right? Yeah, okay, so. Right there. Okay, well, I'll, I'll call Chuck and I'll get a lift out here. Okay, man. And the guys should be leaving uh, Louisiana like, I don't know, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock or something. Here in a little bit. So if they don't, I don't know if they have a lift here today, but for sure I'm going to go get all this stuff right now. Yeah, yeah. The sea lamp and all that good shit. That way at least tomorrow we'll get on it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. Uh, Damn, I didn't know they had moved in or they moved in. <laughs> yeah, they got them playing around, man. They were fucking around. And that one never leaked again inside here? As far as you know, that's the only one, right? That back corner? That's, uh, there was one. I never had a picture here. Oh, perfect. But, uh, hey, it was... I mean, it's, I, I don't know where it happened. I, so, I mean, I, I've really, yeah. I wouldn't worry about it, really. Uh, it happened right here? Well, yeah, it, it just happened. It was just a little wet spot about right here, and that was it. Okay. And that's the first time I've seen it, though. And that's what, damn it, I know it. Here it is. That's right here. Oh. So, I mean, I don't know if it's leaking there and came yeah, behind that. Sometimes they run down the F curlings, yeah. Okay. okay. So, I mean, I don't know. So, we know it's from, we know it's from the ridge the over there. The ridge, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a, good, that's a good thing. So, it's from the ridge right here. Okay. And it landed right there. So. Okay, now I at least have a place I can go look. Perfect. All right. Okay, brother. You know, Thank you. No, perfect. perfect. So, Thank it's on one, two, three, four. Four, right? Yeah, four of them. And there's no wet towels in there, tiles. So uh -huh. I know that's good in there. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, that, that's exactly me. Yeah. Yeah, that's a scary one right here. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. All right, let me go get a, a lift order. Okay. And uh, I'll go, I'm going to go to Home Depot and get all that good stuff right now. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, Appreciate it, bud. All right, McKenzie, we made it out here to the Bates building. I went ahead and spoke to the superintendent, Mr. Adame, and walked around the building. Let me show you all what I'm talking about. So. This is that building that we helped one of my buddies uh, build. Helped him just do a couple things out here, miscellaneous work we did on it. But there's a couple uh, couple leaks on it we've been chasing. The guys that installed this metal roof, they didn't do too good of a job on this metal roof. So um, where we've taken on the project of going ahead and fixing it and doing all the repairs, stuff like that. And we've been chasing you know, a lot, a lot of leaks on this roof. Uh, I'm kind of embarrassed to say how many it was. Even though I didn't put the damn roof up, it's still it's still um, a lot of work. So either way, I spoke to the superintendent. We got a plan of action. So tomorrow my guys should be back in Louisiana um, because there was a little bit of the tires that were fucking up over there. So they're gonna get those things fixed up and they're gonna install that piece that should have been done on Friday. They're gonna install it today and they'll be high the back, getting on the road, coming back here to the to Texas, so uh, to Corpus. So I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Driscoll right now. I believe I gotta contact that owner and see if I can head out there. And then um, if not, I'm gonna be going back to the valley. But I just touched base out here. There's that building. There's the Bates building. We'll be out here tomorrow doing some work on this. Gotta get my guys back into Texas first, though. All right, everybody. I made it back home out here to the valley. Um, the guys did receive that piece of steel. They received it at 11 o'clock, not at 8 a.m. I had actually paid for it like almost $400 to get there at 8 a.m. They got there at 11, so we're gonna see what's happening with that bullshit. Um, but the good thing is, is they got it. They're gonna make their way working it in there, fulfilling this uh, 
this uh, work order, this fix, hanging this thing, and then coming back to Texas. Uh, for right now, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. We got the starter inside of here. We got the terminal change. Next big thing on this Mamalona on the F-350 will end up being the, the brakes, front and back, and the rotors, and an alignment. But for right now, we'll see RPMs, the desert part of mis sueños, heavy spin and hot rods. Catch you on the next one. Puro bendiciones, puro para adelante. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble Shut the fuck up! Do you know what shut the fuck up means?